Hi, I'm Darren Weston from Novartis and this is a short demonstration on how to transform your PowerPoint presentations using SmartArt and um, animations. This is not a detailed demo, this is more of a consciousness raising exercise just to show you some of the features that perhaps you haven't explored that can really convert your um, presentations into something a little better. So the motivation for this presentation or this demonstration was really I've seen so many slide decks where there's so much text and I'm sure many people have been on on presentation training where they've been told how to focus on specific points and uh, you know don't just read the slides because your audience will be assumed to be stupid um, lots of features like this but I think in terms of understanding what PowerPoint can do to convert those textual bullet points into something a little better um, is something that I see a, a lots of examples where people don't do that so I thought I would at least just show you how simple it is um, and then you can do with this what you like so let's move on to the next slide so here I've created a test presentation um, this is you know the content is meaningless but um, the idea is just to show you and demonstrate what you can do so here on the first slide we have the trial reporting process so here I've just put some textual bullet points similar to what I see um, in many cases um, on presentations so here we've got the bullet point one so the first the programmer provides input into the protocol and the CRF once the CRF is final the programmer reviews the database validation check plan secondly they review the data transfer specifications of third-party data and once the study begins the programmer creates an early version of the programming analysis plan and there could be many other bullet points here but the the key point is what we're talking about here is a process um, and whilst all this text is correct and valid um, when you look at the slide and you're presenting the slide all you see is a sea of text and it's hard to really pull out the key points so what I would often do is I would copy all of this because it's all valid but this is really speaking notes so I've put this down in the notes section so I've got that available and then I'd look to try and convert this into a smart art so uh, what you can do is go to the home uh, tab convert to smart art again I'm in office 2010 here um, but office 2007 has smart art it looks slightly different but it's pretty much the same um, so I can do convert to smart art and if we click on more smart art graphics so we can have a better or a bigger selection so here we we said it's a process so we have a number of options so we have a basic process um, we could have a step up process I mean there's a whole range you can play with these to see I quite like this one um, where we have a big continuous block which I think is probably apt in this case so let's click OK and there you see we have a smart art so now let's just adjust the text so that it, it's not so wordy and better reflects the, the salient points that we want to focus on so we've got the first point is um, review protocol that's probably the first point review protocol input on CRF next point was review validation check plan that's probably okay then we've got review call it data transfer specification DTS that's probably okay and then create programming plan that will do but there you see it's a lot clearer that this is a stepwise process and again if I wished if I like said okay I, I like this it's okay but let me have a look at some others I can actually now using this I can say I would prefer to look at maybe that style no that doesn't look good maybe that that looks quite nice but that's showing that the review protocol goes on whilst the input to the CRF is going on which is maybe not accurate so let's click this one and we could provide some bullet points here with some more detail this one's quite nice I like that one so let's just leave it there 
Then, if we wish to enhance this Smart Art further, you'll see there's a Smart Art Tools section here at the top, and you can choose, for example, we could select um, something that's three D, something where it just has a little bit of a sheen to it, a three D sheen that looks quite nice. So we can leave that, and there we have our information converted into something a little nicer. Um, and the other option that we can add is if we wish to animate this it's really simple now um, to animate smart arts because you just click animations add the animation so let's fade in and then we can just add the effect one by one so this is how that would look when we actually present this we can control the speed at which they come in by the page down or the mouse click so that's the first option um, where we have a, a, fl a common example where we have a, a series of events one after the other and we wish to display this in a slightly better fashion okay so let's go on to the next example I have which is um, another common one where we have here what influences quality so quality of programming deliverables are influenced by colon and then we have a series of sub bullet points on you know good planning standardization good development checking appropriate validation plan of course you could have a number of um, of other ideas here but the key message here is there's again nothing majorly wrong with this one but if we really want to make these points stand out really what we're talking about is there's a central idea here of quality and then around that we're saying there's a number of factors which influence that and again so if we highlight the text let's go to the home tab convert to smart art let's look at some more smart art graphics so you're looking probably here at a relationship so let's see there's a number of options here um, this one which is a central idea but then we have I, uh, other issue other areas which contribute to that central idea so let's click OK and there we go so let's change the text so that this is slightly less wordy so we could actually just call it quality quality and we've got good planning standardization yeah, that's probably okay just let's leave it there so there that's much much clearer on what you're trying to send the message to the audience and again you can play with the coloring and the formatting of it so let's put some shiny edges on um, and again I can click on animations I can do fade in. I want to fade in one by one. So that's the main idea. So basically, I think the the consciousness raising exercise here is just to show you that there's some very simple tools which enable you to convert your um, standard textual bullet points into something that looks a little better. I would caution to not overuse this and you really want to do it when you really want to draw on and focus in on some key points but I think there's many cases where I see it underused and I think it could really add value to people's presentations and again I, what I really like is the fact that you can play with this so again here I can click on design and say actually I'm looking more for this style or I could just click on the down button here and say no actually I want and I can play and see what different styles look like and you'll see there's tons and tons of different smart art features see that's quite nice I quite like that one so yeah you can play with these um, but ultimately the end result is that you end up with a, a much nicer looking um, presentation which focuses on the points that you wish to discuss um, the only other point that I wanted to talk about in this presentation was just again raising awareness that there is a much improved um, array of shapes um, that you can use again I'm, I'm not going to go in too much detail here but for example let's just say we I don't want a call out we can grab that call out and again the only thing that I wanted to talk about here was that you've got these options of quick styles so I can quickly say I want to um, have that in blue I want the shape effect of a shadow and I don't want the shape to be filled you know you can play with that but um, th there's a whole array of shapes again which depending on what you wish to um, present um, could be useful in enhancing your slide presentation 
So I think that's it. I look forward to seeing your enhanced presentations.